Yes, uh, absolutely. Um, emotion is is what will make your performance memorable. So people will remember you because they were touched. Uh, if you know, we have we have watched hundreds of movies in our life. Uh, we have read hundreds of books, and yeah. But there are a few movies, there are a few books, or there are a few paintings. You're like, <sighs> when you see them, when you watch them, when you read them, you're like, ah, ah, there's something inside of you that's, you know, you feel strong. And why? You, like a movie, you watch hundreds of movies, why you have a top three movie? Why? Why this one? Well, because when you watch it, you were like, you were touched in a way that the others were not. So it's the same thing for live performances. It's the same thing for magic. If if you see something and you're like, oh, then you leave, it's fine. But I remember going to the movies and and exiting the theater and be like, okay, and go one way and say, oh no, my car is the other way. Yeah, because I was still touched. I was still you know in the movie and it was so strong that I was I, I lost track of where my car is and yeah. So, and it should be the same. I mean, people leaving a magic performance should be like, okay, and then you need to a few minutes to, okay, let's get back to real life now. And emotion will make that happen. Um, I always take this example. Um, David Copperfield's Grandpa Aces. When you think about it, you're magicians, you know, I mean, we all know what the, the trick, you know what the trick is. I mean, he's done, he's done it beautifully. I love this routine. It's just amazing. It's Copperfield. Um, but it's not a car trick, it's not like the Aces, it's a beautiful piece of theater with the story of his grandpa and with the little intro and the story and the pictures and then the music and then you're like wow and I know that this particular piece that I've seen from him uh, really touched me and, and, and surely I kept it in me and it, it just came back in different ways in my magic because I was like, he's doing a card trick. And, and I, yeah, but it's not a card trick anymore. It's a piece of the other, an emotion. And so it's, 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 this is how we should, you know, do with our magic all the time. And emotion is not only about crying or being sad or being, uh, you know, it's not like only you know, like romantic movies. I mean, it's, you can go to the movies and, and I feel lots of emotion, laughter and fear and suspense and there's, there's lots of emotions involved. So you can put emotion in your performance and, and you have to. That's the key, I think, to make a good performance that people remember. And they will remember you then. And so later they might, you know, I mean, I've seen, a like, company might book like several magicians over the years and one day they would like to bring one back for a special event. Why would they choose you and, and not the other one? I mean, they would choose you because they remember something from you that touched them. So, what? They felt something. They felt emotion. So, you, you must put emotion in your performance.